How are we doing guys? Welcome to my Choctaw Bar. So this week I've got a really exciting collaboration coming up with the Glenlivet. This is, oh, it's incredible this whiskey. And in my opinion, even better with white chocolate. So I've created three different recipes, three different Choctaws. So we've got 100 ml of fresh hot espresso. I'm going to add 100 grams of milk chocolate. Salted caramel, looking at about five mil of this plus pinch of sea salt flakes. After all, this is based on my holy grail, which is salty chocolate. And that's what makes it for me, it's that salt and chocolate combination, which is just super boorish. We're gonna cool it down, but we're gonna get that nice froth as well. Fill it up with ice, up to about there. Long time, a minute when you're shaking this. Crushed Oreo as our garnish, which is quite nice because it actually looks like coffee beans on top. Just a little twist on the Espresso martini. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Right, okay, so what I'm tasting here is salt. I've got the crunchiness from the salt. Oh. I've got the crunchiness from the salt and the Oreo because it's, it's oh, on the edge of the glass, of course. I've got that rich, gorgeous kick, and it's so smooth as well from the whiskey, which is balanced perfectly with the with the espresso, and not to mention the chocolate. So like I say, it's kind of that mocha with the whiskey kick. It's beautiful. I genuinely couldn't think of a better whiskey that would be paired because it's so, so smooth, Glenlivet. Oh my days. That's a revolution in espresso martini. Just wait till you try this. It's, it's, it's perfection in a glass. And the idea that it's so more, it's like the Holy Grail chocolate, you can't stop drinking it. I mean, literally, I can't stop. Somebody take this away, please. This next one is called Horlicks's Opulent Older Bro, or Sis, doesn't really matter. But just imagine Horlicks goes a bit older, becomes more mature and sophisticated, starts drinking whiskey in swanky speakeasy bars, attending posh tea parties, that kind of vibe. This one's quite interactive because you've got the, the pot of infused chamomile, um, loose leaf tea, and uh, you've got the white chocolate here in the teacup and a shot of Glenlivet, the Glenlivet. So it's a bedtime drink, it's a twist on a Horlicks, but it'll send you straight to sleep with sweet dreams, I guarantee it. They mix it themselves whilst chattering away to their friends in high society about how debaucherous their evening is going to be after this, because we'll know when you've had this, you'll either be ready to go straight to bed or ready to party. Either way, happy days. Depends how crazy you're feeling, you can add more if you want to. We're going to use chamomile flour on the top as a garnish. Uh, actually, we might use a chocolate flour and just stick it to the side of the cup there. The more chocolate, the better. You can never have too much chocolate or too much whiskey. Now, you can definitely taste the chamomile. You can taste the whiskey, you can taste the white, white chocolate. For me, I've got three layers there, all in perfect harmony. Nothing's conflicting with anything else. They're just stepping in and out at different stages, just teasing the taste buds throughout the roof of my mouth, the tongue, but you can get all those layers just coming through individually. 
and together at the same time. It's a blissful partnership. Nothing too complicated. That's that one, we're done. Moving on to the next one. So on a cozy winter night by the fire, you want to just warm the soul. What could be better than a hot toddy? Uh, so this is my twist, an Ollie the Chock twist on a classic hot toddy. So I've got 200 ml of boiling water that's going to go straight into the teapot. And in there, I'm going to infuse some chopped ginger. Slice it off, so just slice those, chuck those in there. So we've got a little bit of fieriness coming from the ginger. to 100 grams, I think, of dark chocolate. The ginger, I've got a slice of orange, a couple of wedges of lemon, just gonna let that infuse there. That's a nice winter warmer already, even without the whiskey, but that will be the showstopper. pours out, it looks like liquid chocolate. Like one of the hot chocolates you get in, in France or Italy. It's very chocolatey, it's rich, it's dark, it's sexy. It's got a fruitiness to it. It's got, it's got a beautiful, smooth, underlying little stroke from the whiskey. It really is a nighttime drink, that for me. That's what I call a hot toddy a dark hot toddy. Well, I'm ready for bed now, so see you next time. Good night.